Hi, and welcome to Draw With Text. Today we are drawing a parrot with a pear. So, we're gonna start off with his head, which we're gonna start on this side. Um, so if we do a sideways S, and that's gonna form the top of our parrot's head. So a little S, and then a big curve for the bottom part of the S. And that's gonna form the top of his head. And then we're gonna do the beak. So again, if you just leave it about a centimetre and curve it all the way around. And it could be as wide or as sharp as you want it to be. So we're gonna go big, big and sharp. And then the inside of his mouth. So wherever this bit ends, the top beak, we just want to make sure and then the bottom beak is smaller. And then that's his tongue gonna be inside there and that bit. And then we want to focus on the eye. So again, parrots are so brightly colored and a lot of them, not all of them, a lot of them can speak. So a big patch or a circle just joining onto the beach beach onto the beak and um, that's gonna be his eye so nice big eye in there and then we need to connect the rest of it so imagine the re the, the head part being there I'm just gonna bring it in slightly maybe it's a little bit wider so imagine it following it through and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it back and then literally all the, the feathers almost like a rooster so all the way around and literally we're following the, the feathers up to the top of our S and then joining it around so that's going to form the top of our parrot's face and then on one arm so from here so imagine that the shoulders are there we're going to literally do a petal shape so that's one arm then his belly coming in over and then the other part of his petal arm which we're going to open up because he is holding a pair so we're just gonna put the feathers in like so and they literally like give it a little I don't know like a triangle shape so can you see that and then what I want to do is pretend, or not pretend, like imagine he is sitting on a twig. So that's one. And parrots, like most birds, have four toes. And I don't know if you knew this, but for extra support and grip, what they do, so where the top of his toes are and the bottom of his toes are, that's gonna be a branch. But let's just say he's standing on a branch and then the branch gets smaller. So he has two toes on one side. And he actually has two toes on the other side. So on this side you can't, so it's like double grip. And here, he's gonna have his pair. And then at the bottom, we're just gonna do his so feathers. So you kinda of wanna start off fat at the top. And then as they go down, they just wanna go thinner almost like that and the same on this side if you want to just make it so it's going into having a little shape and then on oh, the bottom of his tail so he's hanging out on our branch and we can put some leaves on there 
if you want to. So we could have three little leaves at the end of our branch. So he's holding a pear. So we're literally going to draw pear shape, which is fat at the bottom. And then it just gets a little bit thinner. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna curve around his feathers, which may or may not work, but for our picture, we're gonna stick it in there. So he's got, it's like a snowman, curved snowman. And then the stem at the top, like so. And just make that pair a little bit fatter. And there you have it guys, that's our parrot with a pair. Just added a leaf to my pear. And now it is time to grab our outline pen. Actually, let's start with his beak. So, semicircle around and curve, so that's the point of his mouth. Bottom beak. Inside. And then his tongue in there. And then we're going to do the top of his head, which is how he started originally with this S. in the rest of his feathers and then joining them back up there like so this is the white part of his eye I'm just gonna add a few feathers in there and join the rest of his beak up big circle or oval for his eye a line underneath and then our pupil little dot little dot for the lighting and then this is now so whereas we did the oval shape what we're going to do here is we're going to come down and we're just going to draw in the feathers and that we're gonna to stick to the shape, the original shape that we use. And then curve it around. Like so. So it's kind of like forming his arm. And then from here, we're gonna do his belly. And then what we didn't do is add in his little feet. Like that. And then the claws that I was telling you about. So he's got four, so two on this side and two on that side. We can't see the one on the other side. And then this is the branch. Almost want to. Go around the toes. So 
the same rule applies on this side. We want to stick to the same shape that we did originally. And then we're going to actually do the line there and the stem for our pair. Leaf. made a booby but it's okay because these are his wings and actually what we need to do is we need to do some feathers like he's kind of like holding his pair and then we're gonna do some some leaves on the branch and the only thing that's left is his tail so in line with his body that there so we want to stick to the same principle As we want to go longer, right near the end. There you have it, guys. That's our parrot with a pair. So all that is needed now is that we need to give him some good colours. And you can do whatever colour you want because there's so many different types of parrots available. So you can decide on whichever colours you want to go with. If you want to tag me in please do and I hope that you subscribe hope you enjoyed that and I will see you tomorrow for the next one take care bye